A question still remain into what led into investigations of alleged sports gambling by student athletes and staff from the University of Iowa and Iowa State. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us with what new information we're learning today. Stephanie, we've learned DCI's Special Enforcement Operations Bureau is involved in an investigation, but at this point, no criminal charges have been filed. But I took a deeper look at what student athletes agree to before their season starts. Here's a copy of the student statement NCAA athletes are required to sign every year ahead of their season. Under Part 5, it states athletes must affirm they've read and understand NCAA sports wagering rules and agree if they violate them, they will promptly report them to the athletics director. The first day you come in, or if not the first day, the first day or two, they explain everything to you, the cans and the cannots, things you can and can't do, as a college athlete, and one of them is you cannot gamble on sports. Local 5 reached out to the NCAA to comment. It referred us instead to its sports wagering infractions page, which states NCAA rules prohibit participation in sports wagering activities and from providing information to individuals involved in or associated with any type of sports wagering activities concerning intercollegiate, amateur, or professional athletics competition. I knew that we were going to have something like this happen. I did not realize that the first case would be a college coach. Sports analyst Lee Sterling says as surprising as it was to see Alabama's baseball coach lose his job after allegations of suspicious bets involving his team, he didn't expect what we're seeing in Iowa. The magnitude and the number of athletes as far as in this case between Iowa and Iowa State. So you know, I thought it would be something probably more isolated. When it comes to what penalties could look like moving forward, Sterling says that's up in the air. But he believes everything from a game to year suspension, even expulsion could be on the table. Ignorance isn't a defense. You can't say, well, I didn't know I couldn't bet on another sport. And the Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission released a statement saying that it is aware of DCI's investigation, but adds it does not have any information currently calling into question the integrity of any sports wagering contest or event involving the University of Iowa or Iowa State University. Stephanie. Mary, thank you.